The SR-71 Blackbird was retired in the 1990s, and nothing has truly replaced it. So why is the U.S. working on the SR-72, the so-called son of Blackbird? Let's break it down. Stealth fighters like the F-22 and F-35 are powerful in combat. They can sneak past radars and deliver precision strikes, but they can't be everywhere at once. Their range is limited, their speed is subsonic or barely supersonic, and sending a pilot deep into enemy airspace is always a risk. Satellites give us global surveillance 24-7. But here's the catch. Their orbits are predictable. Adversaries know exactly when a satellite will pass overhead. They can shut down radars, move equipment, and hide until the sky is clear. A satellite also can't linger or deliver a strike. Drones like the Global Hawk can stay airborne for over a day. They're unmanned, they're efficient, but they're slow, high-flying targets. Against modern air defenses, drones are vulnerable and would never survive in contested airspace. And that's where the SR-72 comes in. Imagine a plane that can fly at Mach 6, twice the speed of the Blackbird. It doesn't need to orbit like a satellite. It doesn't need to sneak like a drone. It simply outruns everything. It can gather intelligence or deliver hypersonic weapons before an enemy even knows it's there. That's why the SR-72 exists, to fill the gap no fighter, satellite, or drone can cover. Subscribe for more groundbreaking defense stories.